Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a movie trailer using Canva. I'm going to show you just the basics, but there are a lot of options in here that you can play around with and use to create. Remember to go back to the notes that Mrs. Karn gave you in class, go through, make sure you fully understand what she means by movie trailer, and look at uh, slide 12 for what should absolutely be included before you get going, okay? So remember, you are picking one of your stories that you've been generating ideas about um, within the past two weeks, and you're going to develop it a bit further into a movie trailer, okay? So there's a couple things we can do. You can just start by looking up movie trailer, or you can just highlight and say movie. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to put in movie trailer and hit enter. You want to make sure that one, you're already signed in, okay? Because we want things to be able to save. So as you're working on it, um, you can certainly, you know, have it saved and come back to it and whatever you need, okay? Also, if you are doing the movie trailer template, you want to pick the ones that have a play button, okay? So we make sure it's in movie format. Um, another option is just to uh, search up movie. So let me show you here. And we can go through the movie templates that way too, but also look for um, the ones with play, or we can just play around with a couple different ones. I'll show you what it looks like when we get in. Okay. Let me click on one. I'm going to choose this one just for now. You can totally change the intro if you want to. But what you want is you want something that looks like this, that has the timeline down here where you can add pages, okay? What you do not want, let me click on one that you do not want. This is just a poster, and we want something where we can create a movie, okay? Um, so this is just a thumbnail. Not to say you can't use the thumbnail in a movie, but we want the movie selection for the type of file. If you're struggling with figuring that out, let me know and I'll help you. Okay. So give me one second. Okay. So this is a beginning slide I could use for my movie. It has some cool effects. Okay. You can also look up um, other ones that they have. There's all kinds of results that will pop up if you want to look at, you know, some beginning title pages for your movie. Okay, lots of options. I'm just going to go with this one. Okay, and I'm going to come in here and I can just type in the name of my movie. I'm just going to be generic for the sake of showing you. Um, you have free reign of really being as creative as possible with this, okay? So totally up to you if you want to, how you want to change things out. Um, if you want to have actual stars, you can make up names or you can put real stars here. Um, so if there's a particular star that you absolutely love and you want to put their names down here, you can do that. Or you don't have to have names. That's entirely up to you. You can make your own film production or you can just call it your own. A Karn Film Production. Or whatever you want to do. Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to find images. So I said at least 15, I would say 15 to 20, um, totally up to you. Um, but you're gonna to wanna to go to Google and start saving images, or you can start looking up images right in Canva. So if I click elements, I can search up here for images. So maybe I'm doing something post-apocalyptic um, or scary, or I'm looking for a scary person. I'm just going to put scary in there, okay? So 
here's all these photos I could use if they elicited, you know, a response that was similar to my story idea. Okay. So what I do is I click add page. I'm just going to add some add page. Whoops. I want to make sure it's the whole page. Okay. Add some. I like to just drag it down because then it fills in the whole thing. Okay. So again, you can use images here in Canva or you can go to Google. So maybe I put creepy cabin. Click images. And I want this picture. Then I'm going to save the image as. Just save it my downloads. Okay. Then I'll come back here. I'll go to upload. Say upload file. Grab it. It's going to take a moment to upload. So maybe I didn't want this cabin. I can hit the three dots and hit delete, and hit plus, and now I can bring my own creepy cabin. Whoops. There we go. And drag it over, okay? So there are tons of options there, okay? You can also add text. So at, per the directions, there should be text at least three times, okay? So maybe I can move these too. So if I wanted the cabin in the front, all I did was click and drag. Maybe I want the cabin to be um, the initial view. And um, I'm going to do something like click that once upon a time. And then this is too large for me, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to actually stretch it out. Still going to make it a little smaller. Okay. All right. Now, one thing I do want to show you is even though it's like image, 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 it will start flowing together. So if I hit play, you can see that's that animated image, which I thought was pretty cool. And then it's just going to go right into the next one. Now, you can add transitions if you want to, okay? So if you think, man, I need some transitions in here. Oops. Right there, you can click Add Transition. And then I kind of like dissolve. So what happens is between these two images, it'll dissolve into that instead of a, you know, just a hard move into the next one. And I can do that for every single one. Just click dissolve. That does change your timing a little bit though. So be conscious of that. Okay. You can also, right now, you're seeing each image at 4.5 seconds. You can get this little arrow and you can drag it out. Maybe I want to see each image for six se seconds. So that is an option as well to alter the length of the images. Okay. Um, and then at any point, you can come back to the beginning and watch your video, okay? Uh, right now, you can see the total time of my video, I'm half a minute in. So you're gonna see it's very, very easy to get to one minute. One minute is your minimum. Um, by all means, you can go over, but one minute is your minimum, okay? You should really give your audience a glimpse about what this story is supposed to be all about. Okay. You also need to add music. So let's hit elements here. Audio. 
So there's a lot of instrumental and different sort of music that you can use right in Canva. Of course, if you have your own music file from a song that you love, you can upload it here. Okay, but let's listen to this. We can preview. There's different ones you can add. You can add multiple ones if you want to. Once you found the one that you want, you just drag it. Oh, you can see my arrow is in the way, so I need to drag it here. Okay. And then you can preview it. Be right. So over here, if you click the three dots, there's audio effects. You can, I like to fade out. So at the end of the video, it fades out. It's just not an abrupt. The music's over. Um, so totally up to you if you want to do that. You could also say I wanted to have the music here, but I really like this evil laugh. So I'm going to bring this down as well. Okay. And then I'm going to take that music again and just add it back in. Okay. So what happens is, let me show you here. And this music is very, very quiet, as you can see. So I can turn the volume up because it is pretty darn quiet. 224, make it consistent. Okay, you can just type in the exact number. <laughs> okay. Or you can have it in the background overlapping. Totally up to you. Okay. So you're going to be, you know, adding all kinds of things in here. Um, you know, you can shorten anything that you think is too long. You can mess with the length of the music. You can play around. You can add transitions. You can even add transitions to the text itself too, which is super nice. So you can animate those. Um, Actually, I think the easiest way is just to click on the text and hit uh, animate. So I could have it, you know, swipe in or rise up. Um, I can have it the speed of how it's coming in slow. Okay. That's an option too. Lots of cool things you can do. Just get in here and start playing around. You can also change the color of the images as well and mess around with, uh, you know, different filters and things like that. If you don't like something, you can delete it and, you know, get rid of that. Um, if I hit color, I can change different photo colors um, if I want to as well. Uh, there's just all kinds of things. You can add backgrounds, fun text. If you want to do a voiceover, that is an option as well. You can actually record right in here if you want to um, and put your voice over the actual image. And I can show you how to do that. But honestly, I think it's easier to download the app um, on your computer um, called uh, using some sort of easy voice recorder and I can get that for you. Actually, I'll post it on Classroom and then record your voice separately and then upload it, okay? So that's an option too. Um, another thing you can do is under Elements, um, you can go, let me go to... Oh, these just sounds. Let's see, real quick. Let's 
these are just videos. There is a way to get, oh, let's go to audio. Okay, so there's different sounds you can do too. Like if you wanted, um, you know, alert. let me see if I can bring that up. Here we go. And that will give you audio, different audio options too. Like breaking news intro. This is pretty cool too. That is not news, but <laughs> there are just different sounds you can do. Um, oh, here's a loud burp. <laughs> so if you need to add other things within it too, you could do that. Again, guys, just play around. See what you like. Um, we'll probably find things together that we like. Um, go ahead and come up here and make sure you change the title. So whatever your film title is. This way, it'll be easy for you to find it when you're done. When you're 100%, absolutely, I'm done. I don't need to do anything else. You're going to go to share. You're going to go to download, and you're going to make it on MP4. And then you're going to download that and then turn that into Google Classroom. Okay? It will take some time because it's going to be a larger file. So be patient. Okay? Be patient. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help.